What's good, everybody? My name is Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com. I'm an MC and I'm a producer from Southern California. I've had the opportunity to work with Kendrick Lamar, Ab Soul, E-40, MERS. And I say that not for bragging rights. I say that so that you understand the value of what I'm getting ready to tell you. In many ways, I'm what you consider a middle-aged rapper. I'm not an OG and I'm not a young rapper anymore. But towards the end of 2015, I had an epiphany. I was listening to this podcast called Entrepreneurs on Fire. I was listening to John Dumas talk to entrepreneurs from all over the world. He basically asked them, what are your streams of income? What's your weaknesses? What was your lowest point, your aha moment? One of the questions that really stood out to me was what are your streams of income? And I kid you not, about 90% of the entrepreneurs he talked to, at least one of their streams of income was teaching. Now in hip hop, it's something a little bit different. We have a weird relationship when it comes to teaching. When we're first starting off in hip hop, the only people that we have to learn from are our OGs. Our people who have done things before us, or the artists we look up to, or rappers we look up to. Our problem with that is when we're young and we want to be taught, the artists we look up to don't look back and teach us. And I think this presents a few different problems. I believe that the young artist who wants to be taught, who's hungry for knowledge, they want to know how to write a 16, I think what happens is when you don't teach them, they're fueled by competition. But they're fueled by competition that doesn't include respect. And when you don't respect your competitor, it turns to animosity. So you get young artists who grow up and they hate the OGs. They hate the rappers that came before them and they want to destroy them lyrically, physically, whatever the case may be, but there's no respect. So you get the OG saying these young ones ain't got no respect. On the flip side, you get a more seasoned rapper who's seen a lot of things and has a lot of value to offer, but they get so wrapped up in their career and so wrapped up in what they want and their own self-serving goals because, I mean, they got families to feed, rightfully so. But the problem that that presents is that the moment that the game changes, there's no community of young ones trying to teach them how to stay in the loop of the changes that are occurring. So now what you have are OGs and middle-aged rappers who don't know how to use social media properly. And these young rappers got it down pat. But the moment that an OG reaches out to a young one, there's animosity. You didn't teach me when I needed you. In the midst of the Entrepreneurs on Fire podcast, I came across a book that I, for lack of a better term, it changed my life. It's called The Go-Giver. The Go-Giver is a three-hour fictional story. It's suggested by so many entrepreneurs to read, but basically at the heart of it, is in order to attain everything that you want in this life, everything that you think that you need, you have to give more than that in value to people. If you teach people real value, they will take care of your every need. And sort of the culture of hip hop says that when you start the teaching in hip hop, you're over the hill or you're desperate for an opportunity to make money. And in a lot of cases, that's very true. However, I've never seen anybody in my age turn the light from themselves and shine it on the people. I've never seen somebody my age stop for a second and say, how can I offer more value? I myself have seen a lot of success, but I haven't been the most successful I could be. I had the opportunity of my last album being named from Hip Hop DX as one of the top 25 albums of the year. And I'm so appreciative of it. But I look at that and I feel like there could have been even more success had I understood this concept earlier. The reason why I have reached a glass ceiling has nothing to do with funding, has nothing to do with money, has nothing to do with who I know. It has everything to do with me pursuing goals that were built upon what I needed and what my family needed. In turn, I didn't give enough value. And you may say, well, I think you're a very given person, Curtis. I'm a very given person. I, you know, I give the charity and I give, and that's all great. But when I'm talking about value, I'm talking about the people that can benefit from your information and go make some change tomorrow. Those are people who need your information. Those are people that you become valuable to. One of the biggest lies in hip hop that we're taught is that all this information that we have is secret. Our songwriting techniques are secret. Our beat making techniques are secret. There ain't no secrets, babe. Let me give you an example. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with somebody named Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart is a cook, she's a brand. Martha Stewart makes a living giving you every recipe that she ever created for food, right? It's a multimillionaire, gives you every recipe. But let me let you understand, she is of so much value to her audience. I repeat, she is of so much value to her audience because of what she's taught that she will never, as we put it in hip hop, fall off. She could give you every recipe that she's ever created. You could take that recipe. You can go right next door to her business. And she knows she is so much of a value to the people you can't put her out of business. 
And how does she combat you taking one of her ideas and doing it better than her? Well, she just keeps teaching and giving more value. In hip hop, we're not taught that. We're taught that if we give our secrets away, somebody will steal it. And it's rightfully so, because we've been stolen from a lot. But the problem is when you become defeated and you let somebody who has stolen something from you define you, as opposed to let it fire you up and make you understand that I'm the source of the information. I'm the one that created that. If that one idea can go make somebody multi-million dollars, imagine how many multi-millions I have right here and right here. Imagine if your favorite artist right now, somebody that's really relevant in the game, somebody that's really killing it right now. Imagine if your favorite artist turned around and said, I have a skill for being a lyricist. I have a skill for being a songwriter. I want to do a two hour seminar. How many of you right now who are young, hungry MCs who would love to get just a little bit of tutelage? I see it on these artists' Instagrams and Twitters all the time. Teach me, teach me, let me know something, please, please. They're hungry for information. Can you imagine the amount of money an artist can make in a two hour webinar, seminar, as opposed to six months pushing an album? They would make more money in two hours than they would make in six months of pushing an album. But we're not taught that because the people who know that the people who are out here doing that, well, those are the ones that are employing us. It's 2016, somebody needs to say it. And I kid you not, the last four weeks of my life have been amazing. But I had this epiphany that I can give my way to everything that I ever wanted. I'm not giving for the sake of getting something back. I'm giving because I'm becoming more of a giving person. And in turn, when you become a giving person, when you give information, you give actual real value, people see you as valuable. Give more, become a giving person and you will attain every bit of anything that you ever wanted. I'm seeing it happen right before my eyes. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeast.com, thank you for listening.